Hey everybody, my name's Ryan, and here at eTrailer we install, test fit, and review a lot of different parts. That way we could try to answer any questions those of you might have. And that's exactly what we're doing here today on our 2021 Subaru Forester. We're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness. So many of our Subaru customers use their Foresters to do a little bit of everything, which does include towing. And so you're going to want some wiring to not only keep you safe, but legal as well. And not to mention a lot of different types of accessories actually have lights on them too, cargo carriers and things like that. And the wiring is also going to power those up. So you're definitely gonna want something reliable and that's gonna work every time you use it. And that's exactly what this wiring is gonna do. Now, when it comes to actually using it, you got a couple of different choices. The first one being is you could mount it up out here next to your hitch really common, I'm sure many of you have seen that before, or you can actually keep it on the inside, keep it in there out of the elements and everything else. And that's exactly what our customer has chosen to do today. But if you're wanting it out here, don't worry, I'll show you how to mount that up during the install portion of this video. But with that being said, if you wanna keep it inside, super easy to use whenever you are ready to grab it. Just gonna open up your hatch, lift up on your cargo cover, Take your wiring and just drape it outside over your bumper. Anywhere is fine where there's weather stripping. Just want to avoid the latch. You don't want to get it hung up in there. You could potentially damage it. And there's nothing to worry about either. Whenever we close the hatch on the wiring, it's designed to be able to do that. So you're not going to damage it or anything like that. I know it seems kind of odd closing it on there, but whenever this comes down, the weather stripping's there and doesn't put a ton of pressure on it. So but with that being said, you have plenty of length to come down here and hook up to our trailer or our accessory. So really convenient. I'm a big fan of Takancha. All their stuff is really well made. These bonded wires are nice and thick. The connector is really solid and feels good in your hands and even the dust cap nice and thick and does a great job of protecting the terminals underneath i do suggest especially if you plan on keeping this outside just from time to time apply some dielectric grease to those terminals and that'll really ensure that you won't have to worry about corrosion or anything like that and you can find that grease right here at e-trailer What's great about this setup too is the fact that it uses a module box and what that's going to do is protect your Subaru's factory wiring if a short or an electrical issue would occur on the trailer side. So really puts my mind at ease knowing that our factory wiring is protected, especially in today's newer vehicles with all the complicated electronics, you don't really want to do anything to jeopardize them. And with this kit, you're not going to have to worry about doing that. Now, as far as the installation goes, it's super easy. It doesn't really get much more simple. It uses a factory connector plug, and more or less you just take your wiring, plug it right in, kind of clean everything and secure it up, and you're pretty much ready to hit the road and plug into your trailer. So, shouldn't take you a whole lot of time. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here at the back of our Forester. And we're going to need to locate our factory connector plug, which is located just inside. So we'll open up our hatch and what we're going to do is actually remove any of our floor coverings. Really straightforward. These just lift up and simply just pull out. So you got one big one here in the center and then just two of these smaller ones on each side. So I'll get these up. And then what we're gonna do as well is grab this center piece here, this little foam compartment, grab this and set it to the side as well. And then over here on the driver's side, we're, we're going to remove this foam piece. This is held in place with two push pin style fasteners. So I suggest getting a trim tool like this, or you can use a flathead screwdriver. You wanna get underneath them and pry up. Now, if you just crank down on them these do break relatively easy and over the years i found a trick with these if you kind of take your thumb put a little bit of downward pressure at the same time as you're prying up you'll be able to pop them out without them breaking so i'll do that for this one as well 
can grab the foam and set it off to the side. So with that foam piece out of the way, we can now locate our factory connector, which is this plug right here. So that's exactly what we're looking for. Now what I'm gonna do, it does have a little piece of tape on there just to help keep it from bouncing around. Give us a little more room to work. I'm just gonna cut that tape. That way we can actually grab the connector plug and be easier to work with. So now what we can do is grab our wiring. We're gonna take this little connector. And that's simply just going to plug directly into the factory connector there. So before we get too carried away, putting back all of our panels and securing everything down, it's a good idea just to test our wiring to make sure that it's functioning properly. I'm using this tester that you can pick up right here at eTrailer. That being said, let's go ahead and try our left turn signal, our right turn signal, our brakes, and finally our running lights. So now that we've verified our wiring works, I just used a couple of zip ties to secure all of our wiring and this is how it turned out. So it's nice and out of the way. And once you have that done, we can go ahead and start to reassemble all of our panels back here. So before you put this panel in, you wanna kinda of make sure that your four-way connector wires kinda of in your spare tire area. Then we can just set this back into place and take our push pins and pop them back in. Now when it comes to routing your wiring, you have a couple of different choices. You can leave it inside of your Subaru, that way it's out of the weather, kind of out of sight, or you can actually route it outside next to your hitch where you can permanently mount it there. So if you're someone that uses it a lot and or just prefer the convenience, you can always do that. So in our case, we're going to leave it inside today. But if you did want to route it outside, here's how you would do it. I went ahead and just loosened up our spare tire already. There's this little twist knob there. But if you pull that spare tire out, you can actually see we're going to have a couple of large grommets. And when you pull these out, it goes right down to the outside of our vehicle there. So you could just cut a little hole in here, take your wiring, route it through, down through that opening, and be able to mount it up that way. So you have a couple of different choices, and you can choose whichever one fits your preferences a little bit better. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Takancha T1 Vehicle Wiring Harness on our 2021 Subaru Forester.